The start of freshman year, it was kind of hard because you would get all the peer pressure and not to do this and not to do that. But it was uh, your mindset and how you want to achieve for the four years. So I stepped away from all that stuff and I stayed on task and I kept up with my grades and I tried and I didn't give up when I wanted to. It's also important to think early on in high school how can I put myself in a position where I can get a lot of scholarships and that means keeping your grades up, um, doing well on SATs and ACTs and I encourage students to um, to do a little bit of prep for ACTs and SATs uh, that preparation can go a long ways in terms of getting those scores up and then being involved in extracurricular activities things outside of school things in school so that uh, that you have a great high school resume I stayed on task that's my main objective you need to stay on task your freshman sophomore junior senior year I worked so hard just from time to time I made sure I paid attention to class I turned in all my work um, I made the grades that I knew I could make and it's got me to where I am today. I joined a lot of clubs and I made sure to have a lot of extracurricular activities and I made sure that I was staying involved and engaged in my schoolwork and that I uh, kept up um, a GPA. I regularly go online and, and look for different schools that I think will be good for what I want to do in the future. Uh, I talk to my parents about scheduling tours. Um, I look on college websites to see how I can uh, schedule a tour. Uh, I do band and theater kind of um, concurrently and I, I just found that by um, sacrificing stuff that I want to do outside of that then I can make up for the time um, to do school activities as well, like homework. So I could always, instead of going home and taking a nap or going home and watching TV, I'd have to do my work just so that I could do the things that I want to do. What concerns me most about attending college would probably be that I'm not prepared because I've been taking a lot of AP classes and higher level classes, so I think academically I'll be prepared, but I've never been on my own and independent without parent help and stuff, so I'm just worried about that aspect of things. So, uh, so I encourage students as seniors to apply early, meet the priority deadlines, uh, get the FAFSA in. The FAFSA is now available to be completed starting October 1, so it's very important to get the FAFSA into the universities. And then also check with the university to see if there's any additional scholarship application that needs to be filled out. For example, uh, with UT, uh, when, you, when you finish your Apply Texas, there is a separate scholarship application online that needs to be filled out. One of the, one of the biggest struggles that comes up is timelines. Um, being aware um, at the college level how important those are that um, when a, there's a deadline for a scholarship, deadline for an application, that that deadline is firm. At the high school level, we have a lot of flexibility, um, and sometimes that becomes a problem for a student who is anticipating that same flexibility at the next level. And so just being aware, researching, knowing when deadlines are, and then making sure you're getting everything done in front of those deadlines so you're not rushed and stressed um, as they're approaching. There's a lot of money out there. Uh, there are outside scholarships. We have local scholarships here, our Educational Foundation, uh, our PTO. Uh, we've just got a lot of different companies in the area that love to give money to, uh, to students from our district. So, so looking into those outside scholarships is important too. And on all of your high school rep websites, we have, um, we have sites that you can go to to look for additional scholarships. Uh, for example, our uh, college uh, consulting website. Uh, you can go to that and there are hundreds and hundreds of scholarships there. That is on our Boswell website. You can go to that and there are lots and lots of scholarships there. So for scholarships, um, we always try to give um, apps for the kids to use. We try to give websites for the kiddos to use. We also encourage the kids to um, take place and apply for the local scholarships that come out in the spring from the district. 
and we try to get a good representation at Saginaw for that. We haven't had the best representation of students in the past, so we're really trying to get the word out there. And I do tell the kids, most importantly, if you're going to get scholarships, 99% of it will come from the university itself. Um, not only should you fill out uh, financial aid, but every school should have some sort of gener general scholarship application or um, specific scholarships that the school offers. Most often, the feedback we get when it comes to the application process, when it comes to scholarships, is uh, I wish I had started sooner. I wish I had started this process sooner, uh, regardless of when they started. Um, that they had begun using the research tools that we have available. Um, they had began their uh, begun their um, college uh, visits and going to campuses and really seeing what life was like on that campus. That they took advantage of those opportunities and did it sooner to help them make a wiser and a better decision for them. So that's uh, it goes back to you know even as early as freshman year beginning that process of investigating what's out there, what's available to you, what you think is a viable option for you, and taking advantage of all four years of researching that data, not just uh, one or two semesters of your senior year. Uh, I know I can go to them anytime. They've made themselves very uh, welcoming to me. Um, they offer lots of advice. Uh, there's a lot of programs here that you can take part in to get ready, uh, like the College and Career Center, for instance. Uh, they're always open to answer questions about college and what you can do to prepare for your future. Career Center is really my lunchroom. I come here and lunch every day. I try to get these good websites with the counselors. They help me out really good. You should come. They will help you. I really think what they did for FAFSA and how they implied to where we can just get our tax returns from the IRS is much faster than how it used to be because when I took dual credit classes um, it used to not be that way and you would have to do each step step by step by step and it would take so much time but now I feel like it's it only took me like 10 minutes to only do the application now which made it so much easier. My advice would be just to get it out of the way. The best thing to do is to do it as soon as possible just because the faster you do it the less time you the less you have to worry about it and it will help you in the long run just to know what money you can get from the government or what financial aid you can just get in general. I would say don't be afraid to apply for out-of-state colleges because they do give really good scholarships for out-of-state students. I would like to add that yes, it is stressful and it uh, seems complicated right now, but at the time when you're doing it, it will be worth it and to not give up for it. Uh, do your homework, don't fall behind, go to school, and uh, yeah, uh, try, I guess. I do want to add that as important as it is to apply for financial aid your first year, you honestly need to apply every year. And that also is the same for scholarships in the colleges. Um, a lot of times, well, when my daughter is going to Texas Woman's and she got some scholarships and they said, it's more than likely they continue them every four years, but you, I mean, all four years, but you still need to um, apply for them just to make sure. So it doesn't end when you get into college. Never give up. There's going to be some people that tell you you cannot do things. So what you got to do is you got to go beyond that barrier. You got to go above, do extra things. You know, you might lose some sleep nowadays, but who said hard work didn't pay off? Again, don't, don't limit yourself. Set goals, set them high, um, and push yourself to achieve those goals. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not capable. Don't let anyone tell you that um, you can't. Uh, sometimes there's hurdles in our way and sometimes seeing the way past or over those hurdles can be difficult and sometimes the the journey we take to get to that end point may be a little bit different than we initially thought or that we um, initially planned but it doesn't mean that ultimate goal can't be reached so never never um, allow those obstacles 
uh, to shut you down. If, if you have a goal, push through it. Do whatever you can to reach that goal.